know if you saw this. Drita spoke to TMZ. Did you see this? She says that they, and I'm not coming for Drita because I don't need Drita coming for me. Not that I can't handle myself, girl. I'm sure. But Drita says to TMZ, like recently, like in the past few days, that they are making a scripted series that she is developing with a major studio about her life. Interesting. Do you, I mean, is this, do you believe Ooh, this? Interesting. Do you believe it? No, not at all. But if it happens for her, God bless her. But I think that, yes, that would be very interesting, her life. I'd like to see where it is actually interesting. Yeah. And I'm not even, I just think, you know, I, I, being in the business, you hear people, everyone's developing it. So I'm just like, I just, have you heard of that from anyone else I, um, on the streets, the word on the streets? No, there is no word on the street at all. But if that is her truth, God bless her. Absolutely. I personally don't believe it. You know what I mean? That's 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 me. Um, everybody has shows. Everybody's doing this. Everybody's doing that. Me included. I filmed my fairy mob mother. I filmed it. It. Um, I relapsed right afterwards. It was way too heavy for me of a show to talk about my rape and my abuse and the person that was was filming it with me didn't do her part 100%, so therefore we had to tell story. She didn't want to come on the show and say, hey, I, you know, I, it was an addiction, so it was played differently, and um, it, caused, uh, it caused me to take a, another look at myself, which that was my relapse. So, I mean, people do say they're having shows, you know, we've... This is going on for a really long time. Again, I I would like to see where it's so interesting that they're going to develop a show, a major network. Well, she said that she, no one ever really got to know her on Mob Wives, that she was the outsider, that you all grew up very rich and she grew up poor and she came onto the show and she was the outsider and the one that didn't belong and we never really saw her story. You're smiling. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, you're making, I'm, I'm smiling. I, I have no agenda in this question. I mean, I'm just it's asking. it's a it's fucking hilarious to me. Like, if let's call a spade a spade. Where is your life so fucking interesting? Where? Because you were poor. Half of America's poor. And guess what? I'm sorry that my father made money in the street. I respect her father. Her father was a college coach, professional. So I mean, at the end of the day, you can't be mad that somebody had more money than the next person. And if that gets you a TV deal, God bless you. God but you're bless gonna have you. to make it a little bit more interesting because, you know. People need to watch. Absolutely. Now, if I had a show about my life, that would be interesting. You and I need to come up with a concept <laughs> for a show, right? We have to like. Mine is still on, on going and going and going and going. <laughs> There's a lot going on. You have, so you're totally good with your sister. That's just, yes. just Well, let me just say this yes. before we move on. I do wish Drita the best. And if that is her truth, God bless her. I hope for her children, they get everything they need in life so they don't ever have to experience any hardship in life. Absolutely. There's, I, I have no hard feelings with anybody. I could care less. You wish her well. I do, you just but don't, from over there. From over there. Right. You just don't necessarily believe that this major network is going No, I don't, I, I'm sorry, I don't. Like, you know, Griselda Blanco. Now that is a, a story for a major network. Right. You know, a girl from the projects, like she said, growing up, you know, she felt like she was an outsider. Okay. I, it's not all that interesting. I get it. Not listen. Not everyone's life should be a TV show, right? No, we had mob wives. We were a TV show, and yeah. that's where everybody should be really happy. We had a six-year run, so we all did have our own TV show. Just an ensemble cast. That's it. Correct. It's so hard. The best TV shows get shelved. It's yes, so hard absolutely. to get to walk onto a screen and have episode one. Yep. And then it's really hard to have people watch and say episode two is actually not canceled. Right. I, no, I, I agree. So like I said, God, knock, knock yeah. them dead. You guys, but I mean, you guys, six years, that's a six real years. thing. Six, six years. That's huge. That's huge. I mean, look at like, you watch the Jersey Shore. Look at them. 
what are they on, like season 25? God bless them. They're rich. God bless them, all of them. Yeah. I think it's amazing. Sammy came back. I, lo I love it. I love to see a comeback. I love it. Absolutely. I mean, Sammy, like, I was like, what do you do? I mean, collect your, I mean, listen, if I was on a TV show like Jersey Shore or anything, Mob Wives, I mean, Jersey Shore, it's a little different now how they've right. negotiated. I would hold on for dear life. You, I, I would never be the Sammy sweetheart where I was, life was tough. I would just stay there till the I wheels fell off. I don't know what the whole background is because I didn't follow it like that. But it's nice to see her back. Yeah. You know, it's nice to see her back. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite on Jersey Shore? Um, I would say Paulie was super sweet, the sweetest to me. You know what I mean? Like we, when he dated Aubrey O'Day and her and I had did uh, Celebrity Big Brother, I got a phone call and he was like, hey, look out for her. I, um, he always, whenever my son wanted to go to whatever club he was at, always, you know, it, let him come in and do all that. So Paulie was um, definitely the kindest. So was Vinny. You know what I mean? That's your I, Staten Island boy. Right. I don't know Mike like that, but Mike's story to me is phenomenal. And Ronnie, I've met once. You know what I mean? As far as the girls go, um, I'm definitely pro Jenny and Snooki. Like, I, I am. I can't help it. They're the best, best friend duo in the world. They're good. You know, and now Dina with the, the meatball mommy. Like, they're, I think they're all great. Angelina. An uh, Angelina, absolutely. Absolutely. But, you know, I like the duo. I like the duo. I mean, that's, listen, Aubrey O'Day has nothing really good to say about Paul E.D., but that's nice that he, I mean, she's very outspoken about it. I'm not talking. She's very outspoken. That's nice that he would call he you and he say, look out, look out for See? her. Absolutely. Now, I don't get involved what in their relationship, I don't know. That's not my business. What yeah. you do behind closed doors, not my business. But when someone says, hey, Renee, do me a favor, I'm going to do them the favor. Yeah. So, See? Yeah. I mean, maybe he was nicer than she's making him out to be. Uh <laughs> but, but what was I going to say? Oh, so you're, you're good with your sister now, right? I love my sister. My sister, honestly, um, I'm probably my sister's biggest fan, and she knows it. Um, Jennifer and I come from the same exact life, two different paths, and I just find her, I, her bounce back is beautiful to me. So I, I definitely, um, you know, I, I don't quit at a lot of things. Because if she didn't quit, why would I quit? You know? So absolutely. That makes sense. Yeah. Do you think, because we talk about these other reality shows, do you think, because here's how my mind thinks. Like, you know, every show is greenlit because of other shows. So like right. the Orange County Housewives, which was the first, it's because of Desperate Housewives in the OC. Okay. Have you ever so, watched the, No. It was good with Misha Barton. Oh, it was a good show. Wait, you got the, the scripted, TV show? The scripted yeah, show? The script, yeah, so there that was, had, what's her face? The Terry, uh, 